Back in the original Dragon Ball Z series, we were introduced to a race that we would only see three times throughout the entire series. The Frost Demons or Frieza race. Even though Frieza is incredibly strong and after the events of Dragon Ball Super he's without a doubt the strongest of his race, they aren't all like that. Out of the entire Frieza race, King Cold and Frieza were definitely the strongest but that's only because they were mutants. One question that's been asked is, if King Cold was able to father the strongest of their race, then how strong would Frieza's son be? This is a story that takes place in the GT timeline three years after the fight with Omega Shenron and goes on to explain the tragedy of the son of Frieza. This is Planet Frieza and the first thing we see is this guy who from the looks is obviously a Frieza soldier. He sends out an urgent message to everyone aboard the ship and he says that Ice is about to be born. We cut to this chamber and in front of these soldiers is a new being. This is Ice, the son of Frieza. Right away the first thing he says is that he wants to fight a strong opponent. They head off to a planet where Ice can test his power among other strong fighters and this is the beginning of a new era of Dragon Ball. If you want to keep up with more awesome stories just like this one, be sure to go join the Dragon Ball Fan Manga Facebook page down below and subscribe here for more. Ice has slaughtered every fighter that stepped before him, but none of them were any sort of match for him, so he's out of control now. This is when one of the soldiers suggests that the Saiyan who defeated Lord Frieza may provide a better fight. Ice now recognizes Goku as the person who killed his father and acquires a new interest. After locating him, they decide to head off to Earth. Back on Earth in 3 years since the end of GT, Vegeta has continued his training and achieved the Super Saiyan 3 transformation. With the amount of intense training he's done, he's gotten pretty used to the Super Saiyan 3 and seems to have the key consumption issue under control. However, since he doesn't have a tail, he acknowledges that no matter how hard he trains, he can't become a Super Saiyan 4 without the Blitz Wave Machine. Gohan has continued his studies even further and when we find him in this library, something approaches them catches his attention. He's the first one to sense Ice coming to Earth and then all at once, all of the Z Fighters start sensing this evil key approaching them. As Ice approaches the Earth's atmosphere, all of the Z Fighters one by one start heading to the spot where the ship will land. When they're all gathered together, they see the ship nearing them. The first thing that Gohan notices is that the ship looks exactly like Frieza's but Vegeta says that it can't be Frieza because this guy's key is vastly larger. When Ice and the Frieza Force step off of the ship, instead of going off to find Goku, they're immediately met by all of the Z Fighters minus Goku. Ice can't sense power levels so he's kinda taken off guard by everyone but he says that he is in fact the son of Frieza. Ice says that he's come to kill the man who murdered his father and Vegeta seems to take this as revenge. However, Ice says that he doesn't care that Goku killed his father, this simply means that Goku is powerful and that's all he cares about. Vegeta decides to be the first to challenge him but Ice will only fight him if he assures them that he's a strong fighter. Vegeta wastes no time going into Super Saiyan 3 but when they begin, even after getting a few good hits in, it quickly becomes apparent that even Vegeta in his Super Saiyan 3 form is no match for this guy as Vegeta fires off a full power Big Bang attack and Ice easily deflects it. Ice is actually excited now as he says that Vegeta is definitely the strongest person that he's ever faced but Vegeta is completely shook as he says that this guy's power is far greater than Frieza's to the point where there's no comparison. We then cut to Gohan and Piccolo is trying to talk to him telepathically from the afterlife. Piccolo then goes on to explain the lore of the frost demons that Frieza warned him about in the afterlife. Apparently Frieza and his family come from a planet called Winter and immediately after being born, they cover themselves in ice and enter a thawing period where the longer that they thaw, the stronger that they will be upon their birth. This is when Piccolo says that Frieza's thawing period was 5 years while King Cold's was 6 but in this case, Ice thawing period was over 50 years long so upon birth, it would seem that Ice may be up to 10 times stronger than Frieza. After being overpowered by Ice once again, Vegeta resorts to something he never thought he would have to use in a fight like this. He takes out a capsule and in it is a mini Blitz Wave machine that he tells Trunks to shoot him with. And to the complete shock of Ice, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is born once again. That's gonna do it for this one guys, this is just part one of a much larger story called Dragon Ball After the Future though, so if you wanna see more, be sure to go down below and tell me what you think. Don't forget to go check out the Fan Manga Facebook page and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.